What's going on YouTube? Welcome once again to my channel, Raw Boxing TV. Let's go ahead and talk about last night's fight. Uh, Bermain Stavern versus Chris Ariola. It was a good fight. The first fight was a good fight as well. Very action-packed. Very uh, gave us a knockdown. On this fight, uh, I had Chris Ariola up. I have uh, at the time of the knockdown of the knockout. I had Chris Ariola four rounds to one. Uh, reason being, from the beginning, Romain Severn was not as busy. Chris Ariola was taking the fight to him. Now you can argue that maybe Stavern was not in shape for this fight, but you can also argue that maybe Stavern, Stavern used this as an uh, as a as a as a way to get Chris Ariola gassed out. Who knows? I'm not picking either side, either of those things, because I don't know what was on Stavern's mind. However, again, I repeat, you can use any of that as an argument. But let's go ahead and move forward to the knockout. I have never seen, since the days of Mike Tyson, a more beautiful, well-timed, quick overhand right counterpunch than what Chris Ariola took last night from Severn. I mean, the, the, the hand was so quick, Ariola didn't see it coming. He literally shook his body. He literally shook the blob. And from that point on, it was a done deal. And he could never get get uh, 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 fully recuperated. He was dropped down again. And then I thought he was not gonna get up. Me personally as a referee, he, he gave him too much time. Chris Ariola did not need to take that punishment, that third uh, uh, stoppage or knockdown. Chris Ariola did not have to go through that. The second, the second knockdown was enough to go ahead and consider the fight over due to the fact that Ariola was wobbly. But the referee was giving him time. He gave him an extra second or two. Now you might think, well, that's not enough time. And you might be right. But legally, you should only get 10 seconds. Um, again, guys, things like this should not be happening in boxing. If you, if you as a referee see that a fighter is hurt, then that's what it is. The fighter is hurt. Uh, do not try to put this fighter through, uh, oh, let me see if he still can pull it out. This is, th those are things that happen one in a lifetime. You don't always get a fighter that's hurt that bad and comes back and wins a fight. Notice what I said, you don't always, not that I, not that you never. It has happened in the past. Castillo versus uh, Corrales is a perfect example of that. But in last night's case, uh, Chris Ariola was done. Congratulations to uh, Romain Stavert as the first, first Haitian born heavyweight champion of the world in history. Congratulations to him, congratulations to his family, and what's next for Bermain Stavern? I think, in my opinion, that Bermain Stavern should go ahead and start asking for ridiculous, overhyped, overrated uh, Tyson Fury. And after that, after he gets Tyson Fury, go on and get the Klitschko. Can he beat Klitschko? Why, can he, why can't? Why can't he beat Klitschko? All he's got to do is train for Klitschko. Who has Klitschko fought in the last five years other than David Hay that possesses skills like Bermain Stavern? Please, name somebody. I don't think so. So, I'm not saying Bermain's going to beat him, but it could be a good fight, and why not? Give him the chance that anything can happen in boxing. That's it for now. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter at Raw Boxing TV. Till next time, I'm out.